Welcome to Investor's Matrix. In today's video, we're diving into the invaluable insights of Robert Kiyosaki, the renowned financial educator. If you're eager to achieve financial freedom, you've come to the right place. Robert Kiyosaki is the author of the best-selling book Rich Dad Podad, which has sold over 32 million copies worldwide. He is also the founder of Rich Dad Company, a financial education company that provides books, games, seminars, and podcasts on various aspects of personal finance. One of the key messages that Kiyosaki conveys through his work is the importance of financial education. He believes that most people are not taught how to manage their money effectively and end up in a cycle of working hard, paying taxes, and accumulating debt. Kiyosaki explains that there are two types of income, earned income and passive income. Earned income is what you get from your job or business. Passive income is what you get from your investments, such as dividends, interest, royalties, or rent. The difference between these two types of income is that earned income is taxed at a higher rate than passive income, and passive income does not require your active involvement. Kiyosaki also distinguishes between two types of expenses, assets and liabilities. Assets are things that put money in your pocket, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, or businesses. Liabilities are things that take money out of your pocket, such as mortgages, car loans, credit cards, or consumer goods. The difference between these two types of expenses is that assets generate cash flow for you, while liabilities drain your cash flow. According to Kiyosaki, the key to achieving financial freedom is to increase your passive income and your assets, while decreasing your earned income and your liabilities. This way, you can create a positive cash flow that covers your living expenses and allows you to enjoy life without worrying about money. In this video, we will share with you seven lessons from Robert Kiyosaki that will help you on your journey to financial freedom. Let's get started. Lesson one, the power of financial education. The first lesson from Robert Kiyosaki is to invest in your financial education. Kiyosaki believes that financial education is not something that you learn in school or from your parents. It is something that you have to seek out and learn by yourself. Kiyosaki says that financial education is not just about learning how to read financial statements or how to calculate interest rates. It is also about developing a financial mindset and attitude that enables you to see opportunities where others see problems. For example, Kiyosaki shares how he learned from his rich dad, his friend's father who was a successful businessman, how to turn a bad situation into a good one. When he was nine years old, he and his friend decided to start a comic book library business. They bought used comic books for 10 cents each and rented them out for 10 cents per day. They made a lot of money until their customers stopped coming because they had read all the comic books. Instead of giving up or lowering their prices, they decided to use their profits to buy more comic books from other sources. They also expanded their business by hiring other kids to run their comic book libraries in different location. They increased their inventory and their customer base and made even more money. This experience taught Kiyosaki the power of financial education. He learned how to spot an opportunity, how to leverage his resources, how to scale his business, and how to create value for his customers. If you want to follow Kiyosaki's example, you need to invest in your financial education. You can do this by reading books, listening to podcasts, watching videos, attending seminars, playing games, or joining communities that focus on personal finance topics. You can also learn from mentors or coaches who have achieved financial success and can guide you along the way. Lesson two, embrace entrepreneurship. The second lesson from Robert Kiyosaki is to embrace entrepreneurship. Kiyosaki advises that if you want to achieve financial freedom, you need to move from working for money to making money work for you. Kiyosaki explains that there are four types of people in the world of work, employees, self-employed, business owners, and investors. He calls this the cash flow quadrant. Employees are people who work for someone else and receive a salary or a wage. They trade their time for money and have little control over their income and expenses. They are often dependent on their employers and the economy for their financial security. Self-employed are people who work for themselves and earn an income based on their skills or expertise. They may be professionals, consultants, freelancers, or contractors. They have more control over their income and expenses, but they still trade their time for money. They are often limited by their own capacity and availability. Business owners are people who own a system that produces income for them. They may have employees, partners, or franchises that work for them. They have a lot of control over their income and expenses, and they leverage other people's time and money. They are often able to scale their business and create passive income. 
Investors are people who invest their money in assets that generate income for them. They may invest in stocks, bonds, real estate, businesses, or commodities. They have the most control over their income and expenses, and they make money work for them. They are often able to create multiple streams of income and achieve financial freedom. According to Kiyosaki, the key to achieving financial freedom is to move from the left side of the quadrant, employee and self-employed, to the right side of the quadrant, business owner and investor. He says that the left side of the quadrant is where most people are stuck in the rat race, while the right side of the quadrant is where most people achieve financial independence. If you want to follow Kiyosaki's advice, you need to embrace entrepreneurship. You can do this by starting your own business, creating your own products or services, building your own brand, or joining a network marketing company. You can also partner with other entrepreneurs or business owners who share your vision and values. Lesson three, shift in mindset employee to investor. The third lesson from Robert Kiyosaki is to shift your mindset from that of an employee to that of an investor. Kiyosaki believes that your mindset is the most important factor that determines your financial success or failure. Kiyosaki says that most people have an employee mindset, which is characterized by the following traits. They seek security and stability over freedom and opportunity. They value a steady paycheck over a variable income. They prefer to follow instructions over taking initiative. They avoid risks and challenges over seeking growth and learning. They focus on saving money over investing money. They depend on others for their financial well-being over taking responsibility for their own financial destiny. Kiyosaki argues that this employee mindset is not conducive to achieving financial freedom. He says that this mindset keeps people trapped in the rat race, where they work hard to earn money, pay taxes, pay bills, and save a little for retirement. He says that this mindset limits people's potential and prevents them from living their dreams. Kiyosaki suggests that if you want to achieve financial freedom, you need to adopt an investor mindset, which is characterized by the following traits. They seek freedom and opportunity over security and stability. They value a variable income over a steady paycheck. They prefer to take initiative over following instructions. They seek growth and learning over avoiding risks and challenges. They focus on investing money over saving money. They take responsibility for their own financial destiny over depending on others for their financial well-being. Kiyosaki claims that this investor mindset is essential to achieving financial freedom. He says that this mindset enables people to break free from the rat race, where they make money work for them, pay less taxes, pay themselves first, and create wealth for themselves and others. He says that this mindset unleashes people's potential and allows them to live their dreams. If you want to follow Kiyosaki's recommendation, you need to shift your mindset from that of an employee to that of an investor. You can do this by changing your beliefs, attitudes, habits, and actions regarding money and finance. You can also surround yourself with positive influences, such as mentors, coaches, books, podcasts, videos, seminars, or communities that support your financial goals. Lesson four, leveraging debt for wealth building. The fourth lesson from Robert Kiyosaki is to leverage debt for wealth building. Kiyosaki explains that debt is not necessarily a bad thing if used strategically. He says that there are two types of debt, good debt and bad debt. Good debt is debt that helps you acquire assets that generate income for you. For example, taking a mortgage to buy a rental property, taking a business loan to start or expand a business, or taking a student loan to get an education that increases your earning potential. Bad debt is debt that helps you acquire liabilities that drain your income. For example, taking a car loan to buy a depreciating vehicle, taking a credit card to buy consumer goods, or taking a payday loan to cover your living expenses. According to Kiyosaki, the key to leveraging debt for wealth building is to use good debt to buy assets and avoid bad debt to buy liabilities. He says that this way, you can increase your cash flow and your net worth while reducing your tax liability and your risk exposure. If you want to follow Kiyosaki's strategy, you need to leverage debt for wealth building. You can do this by using debt as a tool, not as a burden. You can also seek professional advice from financial experts who can help you find the best debt options for your situation. Lesson five, building a solid financial foundation. The fifth lesson from Robert Kiyosaki is to build a solid financial foundation. Kiyosaki advises that before you start investing or building wealth, you need to have a strong financial base that can support your financial goals. Kiyosaki says that there are three essential components of a solid financial foundation, emergency funds, savings, and effective expense management. 
Emergency funds are money that you set aside for unexpected events or emergencies, such as losing your job, getting sick, or repairing your car. Kiyosaki recommends that you have at least three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. He says that this will give you peace of mind and prevent you from using your credit cards or dipping into your savings or investments in case of an emergency. Savings are money that you save for specific purposes or goals, such as buying a house, starting a business, or retiring. Kiyosaki suggests that you have a clear vision of what you want to achieve and how much money you need to save for it. He says that this will help you stay motivated and disciplined in your saving habits. Effective expense management is the ability to control your spending and live within your means. Kiyosaki advises that you track your income and expenses, create a realistic budget, and eliminate unnecessary or wasteful spending. He says that this will help you increase your cash flow and free up more money for investing or saving. According to Kiyosaki, the key to building a solid financial foundation is to pay yourself first. He says that this means that before you pay your bills, taxes, or debts, you should set aside a portion of your income for your emergency fund, savings, and investments. He says that this will help you prioritize your financial future and create a habit of wealth building. If you want to follow Kiyosaki's tip, you need to build a solid financial foundation. You can do this by creating a financial plan that suits your needs and goals. You can also use tools or apps that can help you track and manage your finances more easily. Lesson 6. The Power of Networking The sixth lesson from Robert Kiyosaki is to harness the power of networking. Kiyosaki asserts that your network is your net worth. He says that the people you know and associate with can have a huge impact on your financial success or failure. Kiyosaki explains that networking is not just about exchanging business cards or adding contacts on social media. It is about building genuine relationships and connections with people who share your vision, values, and goals. It is about finding mentors, partners, customers, suppliers, investors, or advisors who can help you grow and learn. Kiyosaki also emphasizes that networking is not a one-way street. It is about giving value and contributing to others as much as you receive value and benefit from them. It is about being generous, helpful, supportive, and respectful to the people in your network. According to Kiyosaki, the key to harnessing the power of networking is to be proactive and intentional. He says that you should not wait for opportunities to come to you, but rather seek them out and create them yourself. He says that you should not be afraid to reach out to people who can help you or who you can help. He says that you should not be shy to ask for advice, feedback, referrals, or introductions. If you want to follow Kiyosaki's suggestion, you need to harness the power of networking. You can do this by attending events, joining groups, or participating in platforms that are relevant to your field or interest. You can also improve your communication, listening, and interpersonal skills that can help you build rapport and trust with others. Lesson 7. Calculated Risks and Stepping Out The seventh and final lesson from Robert Kiyosaki is to take calculated risks and step out of your comfort zone. Kiyosaki argues that risk is an inevitable part of life and finance, and that avoiding risk is not a smart strategy. Kiyosaki explains that there are two types of risk, intelligent risk and foolish risk. Intelligent risk is risk that is based on knowledge, research, analysis, and planning. Foolish risk is risk that is based on ignorance, emotion, impulse, or greed. Kiyosaki says that most people are afraid of taking intelligent risks because they lack financial education and confidence. They prefer to stay in their comfort zone, where they feel safe and secure, but also stagnant and mediocre. They miss out on opportunities and potential rewards because they fear failure and loss. Kiyosaki advises that if you want to achieve financial freedom, you need to take calculated risks and step out of your comfort zone. He says that this means that you should seek opportunities that challenge you and push you to grow and learn. He says that this also means that you should be willing to face failure and loss as part of the process and learn from your mistakes. According to Kiyosaki, the key to taking calculated risks and stepping out of your comfort zone is to have a clear vision and a strong purpose. He says that you should have a compelling reason why you want to achieve financial freedom and what you want to do with it. He says that this will help you overcome your fears and doubts and motivate you to take action. If you want to follow Kiyosaki's recommendation, you need to take calculated risks and step out of your comfort zone. You can do this by setting smart goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound, that align with your vision and purpose. You can also seek feedback and guidance from experts or mentors who can help you assess and manage your risks. Conclusion and call to action. Congratulations! 
You have just learned the seven lessons from Robert Kiyosaki that will help you on your journey to financial freedom. We hope that you found this video informative and inspiring. We encourage you to apply these insights to your own financial situation and see the results for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. We would love to hear your feedback and comments on what you learned from this video. Thank you for joining us today on Investor's Matrix. Remember, your path to financial freedom starts with knowledge and action. You have the power to create your own destiny and live your dreams. Stay motivated, stay informed, and stay financially free. Stay tuned for more empowering content from Investor's Matrix. See you next time.